Woohoo! Guess what? It's Monday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you just tuned into the Morning Devotion. We're here to encourage you through the Word so that you, y'all, you guys, you guys, <laughs> can be strong in the faith. And live victoriously in Christ. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this Monday. Lord, yes, I thank Lord, you for your word. I thank you, Lord, for the encouragement that you give. Lord, I thank you that your word will speak to us and show us exactly where we need to grow and change. Lord, that it's encouragement when we need encouragement. It's health when we need health. Lord, it's hope when we need hope. Lord, it's discipline when we need discipline. And I thank you, Lord for your word speaking into our lives in jesus name amen amen, amen. and i just really amen. quickly want to clarify yesterday we talked about lying and um it was pretty straightforward mm -hmm. cut and dry but that's just don't want anybody to misinterpret a lie first off randy probably said it best a lie is intentionally telling something that as you know is not true mm -hmm. It is not the same as someone who is mistaken. Yeah. You may have bad information about something mm -hmm. and you're sharing something and you think that what you're sharing is true, but it's yeah. just, you've been uninformed. You don't maybe not know the facts or have the facts, or perhaps in, in, in age this happens, you're just confused about a situation. Maybe it's not really a memory that you have. Maybe it's just something that somebody told you, and even memories can go. I Kate, think Paul is a perfect example of that. Well, case in point, Spock yesterday was not the one in the <laughs> illustration. It was Mud who said he was a liar. Now, if you look up androids, liar, Star Trek, you'll see the scene <laughs> where Mud tells them he's a liar in the, com in the, the computer android short circuit. So. Uh, I was talking about it and I was mistaken so mm -hmm. just to, to nobody nobody jumped into our feed and said it was not Spock <laughs> you're lying um, so it it's just to let you know there there is a difference a yeah. lie is intentionally saying something if you feel like you've said something to somebody and all of a sudden those little bells go off ding 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 that's not true that's not true that's not true you're not saying it right you're exaggerating <laughs> you're twisting the truth you're saying well right there on the spot it may not be easy but correct yourself say well no i don't think i got that exactly right and i've done that i've said to Randy, yeah. no i don't think i got that exactly I've had to right say that too you know the i don't think we were in the black jeep i think we were in the blue jeep <laughs> uh, so correcting yourself is is a form of honesty. It's not only being honest to yourself, it's being honest to the people that you're speaking to and it's being honest toward God. So that's just a quick little three minute add in bonus <laughs> for me at the beginning. And Randy would like to go to Well, did, Peter. did you wanna say a little bit about what you were just saying about where Paul, I mean, because Paul, they could have said, oh, he was lying because you know, all the things that he was saying about the, the Christians but he was misinformed by the Pharisees mm -hmm. until Jesus ap appeared to the him. The truth. Appeared to him and he knew the truth. And once he knew the truth, whoa, did he make things right. And it cost him yes. to make things right and speak the truth. But, I mean, that's the difference. It wasn't that he was purposely saying those things about the Christians. It's he was misinformed. Mm -hmm. So there is a difference, and God knows our hearts. You know, Amen. before Amen. we got saved, there was things that we didn't know, you know, that we would have yeah. thought were fine. But the more you grow in the Lord, the more you find, yeah. ooh, that's not yeah, right. That's not right. <laughs> so, so so basically, what is, what is all that stuff in my orange that's juice? just stuff from the, the cranberry juice, I believe. And if not, it may be a little bit of coffee grinds. <laughs> I drank some already. So. <laughs> Coffee grinds in my orange juice and cranberry juice. All right. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, Don Silla. Good, Good morning. morning, Vanessa. And I don't know. We're praying for Kevin also. He's doing better. He's That's doing good. better. So thank the Lord. Yep. Amen. Amen. Well. And, and you know, I do want to say real quick. I don't know. Paul Ross, that's in the UK. Uh, Paul, last we knew you were in Canada. Please let us know that you're okay. Contact us. Yes. We haven't heard from you. If we haven't you're heard from you prayers. in a while, 
give us set, send us a yes. comment comment below uh -huh. yeah see so we're okay and let us know if there's something we can pray with if you, you miss a sunday service go watch the youtube version it's posted above it because the youtube version actually has the slides inserted over each area when we switch slides mm -hmm. you get a good full presentation of that we're in first peter chapter one starting in chapter three <laughs> chapter first, one first peter chapter one, one. <laughs> Started verse three. <laughs> Starting in verse number three. <laughs> hey, it's three. Monday morning and it's early. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna let you read. <laughs> um, it seems like it's easier for me to read it off the paper, even though it's the same yes. thing. I'm reading it out of the fir uh, first, out of the King James, the New King James version. Um, first Peter one. I just wanted us to start the week remembering who we are in Christ, um, the hope that we have ahead. So here we go. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead Amen. to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. We talked last week about the hope that we have in the Lord, and we have to remember that our riches here are nothing. We need to work and live our lives for what God has ahead for us in glory. That's where we are promised the good things. It says, heaven, who are kept, and this is the nice thing, is it's not about our own works, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Amen. Christ paid the price for us. The work has been done. Amen. By faith, we have to believe it and live our lives accordingly. Because if Jesus is Lord of your life, you're going to live a life that is pleasing to Him. You're not going to live a life that's pleasing to the world that didn't do anything for you. You're going to live a life pleasing to the Lord Amen. who gave His life for you. Who rose from the dead to show you that one day, He's got the power to resurrect you up. And that he's got glorious things ahead. There's nothing that can hold him down. There is nothing that man can do. Every man is one day going to die. Mm -hmm. No it's matter point, how hard they die. man wants to die. Yep. No matter how hard they try, one day man is going to die. And then we're going to have to stand Unless before Unless you're God. Elijah or Enoch. Yeah. And you know what? There's a lot of things but that says guess about what? Revelation. And guess what? They think they're coming back in the book of Revelation so they can <laughs> so have their chance to die. <laughs> yes. It's like, hey, you missed out. You know? <laughs> you know, God has glorious things ahead for us. It says, Amen. in this, in these things, in this these promises, things. in this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, Just a little while, if need be, you have been grieved by various trials. That the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes, Amen. though it is tested by fire, may be found to praise, honor, and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Genu Gen Gen genuine faith. Amen. That's a great thing to have. Yes. Whom having not seen you love, though now you do not, s though now you do not see him, yet believing, you rejoice with joy inexpressible and full of glory receiving the end of your faith the salvation of your souls of this salvation the prophets have inquired and searched carefully who prophesied of the grace that would come to you he's talking about the old testament prophets isaiah jeremiah they all spoke of the future that would come to you searching what and what manner of time the spirit of christ who was with them was indicating when he testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glories that would follow. Remember we've talked about in the past that the Spirit of God would fall upon them and give them a revelation, give them a, a glimpse of the future and they would write those things. To them it was revealed that, revealed that, not to themselves but to us they were ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit, sent from heaven, things which angels desire to look upon. Amen. Can we only Amen. have this three, three more. That's it. Okay. You got 30 seconds. There we go. Therefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you Amen. at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, 
not conforming yourselves to the former lust, as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in your conduct, because it is written, be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Don't go Amen. back to the past. We said that yesterday. Don't, Don't go back to your past. Go forward toward the Lord. Don't go back. Go forward. And as you go, keep a praise song in, in your, your heart. heart. And rejoice, rejoice in the Lord always. always. And, and again, again, I, I say, say rejoice. 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 Amen. Rejoice. <laughs> you go ahead and say it. Say it. Rejoice. rejoice. No, no, say it a little bit better than that. Rejoice. 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 Uh, rejoice. I have the, the last words of an wait, old wait, song. Wait, 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 wait. Rejoice in the Lord. Amen. Not just be happy, but be happy in the Lord. Amen. That old song. I've got my foot on the rock and my mind is made up. I don't know where she comes up with some of these. It's an old uh -uh. little uh -uh. part of a song. I've got my foot on Christ. I am going to stand on the rock of my Amen. salvation. Amen. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. So glad to have you join us.